I'm going to make a shrimp soup today. I'm going to use some basil and some cilantro and chives, garlic, carrot, a little bit of celery for my onions, leeks, lemon, lemongrass, ginger, coconut milk, and I think that's everything. Oh, and some shrimp. And I think that's everything. In my pot I have three cans of this coconut milk. And I'm going to add four lemongrass, you know, the bottom part that I smashed. And I'm going to add a bit of celery, a fourth a cup. And garlic. A little over a tablespoon of garlic there. Ginger that I just grated up on the small holes of a grater. A fourth a cup. And some cilantro. About a fourth a cup. Uh, about seven tablespoons of lemon juice. That's how much I got out of those three lemons. And a cup of wine or vermouth. I'm using vermouth. Now I'm going to turn the heat on and bring this up to a simmer and stir. This has gone 35 minutes at a gentle simmer. Remove it from the heat. I'm going to put my other pot here and add some oil. Add about a tablespoon of uh, coconut oil. You can use anything really. But since I'm using coconut, I thought, well, how appropriate. I'm going to add carrots, about half a cup, and the leeks, about two cups that I sliced, and then put it in a sink of water to uh, get all the dirt out. I'm going to let these start going, the carrots and the leeks, get these going. I'm going to add some salt, a teaspoon of kosher salt, coarse ground salt, and about a teaspoon of uh, white pepper to this as it gets going. I haven't added any salt at all to this at all. It's been about 10 minutes. It's getting a little sticky on the bottom. But the vegetables are getting soft, pretty soft there. I'm going to take a strainer and I'm going to put the soup, strain the soup into here. We've gotten all the flavor out of the ingredients. Get all the juice out here and press against the vegetables. We'll add some basil, about a fourth a cup, loosely, loosely packed, fourth a cup. I'm going to add the shrimp. I did cut the shrimp up as they were large. That's just what I had. I would buy, uh, normally, I would buy smaller shrimp and we're going to let this come up to a bubble and bubble for three or four minutes. Can you see it's starting to bubble? After adding the shrimp it's starting to bubble and we're going to, I'm going to let this go for five minutes. It's been bubbling away for five minutes. I'm going to add just a few garlic chives to this. And we'll let this uh, uh, cook just another minute with the heat off and we're ready to serve. This needs some salt so be sure to taste it. Put a little salt in there and taste it again. Be sure that it's right. 
I have my soup dished up. This serves four people. And if you're entertaining, I highly recommend that you leave fork shrimp whole just to put on top for a garnish. Have a taste. So good. I mean, really, really, really good. Just a kind of like two different flavors of lemon. It's complex. It's just you want to eat the whole pot. Let me tell you. And thank you so much for watching.